it's Lee. Welcome back. Today I'm giving myself a card and paper challenge. I have so many stamps and dies that I bought in a, like a year and a half ago that I never got a chance to use because my life was frenetic. And I have all these beautiful little six by six card socks that I am going to, in the future, give myself the challenge of picking, just going over to my stamps, picking a set, and then walking over to my little cardstock pile and drawer and picking a cardstock that I think will go with it, set as cardstock. This was the first one I laid eyes on. Works perfectly. So, I started last Wednesday. I got, oh, and I picked colored cardstock in seafoam green first in my cardstock set above my, I got Alta New Coffee Love Dye, and I love coffee. I'm drinking coffee right now, as a matter of fact. And I got the Seafoam cardstock, which I cut to the size of a card already to use. I got Nina Desert Storm. Oh, and this cardstock is Lux from envelopes.com it's Lux brand 100 pound card stock and seafoam green with seafoam sorry seafoam with the matching envelopes and I got Nina Desert Storm card stock uh, 100 pound that I'm gonna use as the basis and I, I'm, I plan on making four cards there you go I picked out my card stocks already for accents. I'm going to use this and this. I have my Lawn Fawn, ah, my Lawn Fawn stitched rectangles that I love to use. Look, I started to, I put the thing in the wrong place. <laughs> Silly me. I used this already and folded my things so I can put that away. I'm going to use silver cardstock from the Lux line from envelopes.com for the coffee pots. These coffee pots. And uh, these, and then uh, I have different colored pencils I'm going to use. And I'm going to use white for the cups, I believe, or maybe even this. And I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna die cut them after. And then I have all the little sentiments here. So, first things first, I need to stamp. I have my archival ink. Oh, and I also have these pretty um, pens here to use that, I've, that I recently bought, the Univol Signo in white, uh, they're gel pens, white, silver, gold, and I have a black pen for line, doing line work. Uh, so let's get started with stamping, shall we? And uh, for stamping, I like to use, let me move things out of the way, kind of try to keep organized. I like to use my Flamingo old mouse pad because it works just like a stamp pad. It's, it's very odd, but it, it does. It helps you stamp really well. And the first one I'm gonna stamp is this. Uh, what I'm probably gonna do <laughs> is fast forward through a lot of this, but I might not, you never know. I might just talk to you. Uh, happy Easter, everyone. Easter was day before yesterday. We went, uh, me and my daughter stayed home for Easter. Oh yes, we did. We, uh, and I'm just going to stamp and hold because the silver is very odd. It's uh, metallic and shiny, so stamping on it is weird. It takes a long time for the ink to dry. That's why I'm stamping on this first. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, and I have foam tape. 
foam tape to uh, prop them up once I die cut them. I'm going to stamp out more than I need just to have in case I want to make it for other. And look how look how nifty they are. They have they have pictures if you want to see how they did it. But the, on Saturday, it, Holy Saturday, we went to the island with my sister and <laughs> me, my sister, my daughter, my daughter, and my nephew, my sister's son, <laughs> who's 22, played croquet. <laughs> I am the worst croquet player ever. When I don't aim, I, I do well. When I try to aim, I don't do well. Oh, oh. My sister's like the best. My sister is so good at everything. She always has been. And uh, my nephew was excellent also. Me and my daughter, both spazzes. My daughter's gonna be 13 this week. I can't believe it. My daughter, a teenager. Can you believe that, guys? She's gonna be a teenager, 13 on Wednesday. Oh my God. And she's still a sweetheart. Kind of apprehensive about going to uh, school. Ooh, I'm getting worse and worse at this stamping thing. I, I just smudged that one, but you know what? I don't care. I've come to the point, I, 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 I try to be a perfectionist in a lot of ways, but in a lot of ways, I just, I, I, I just don't care. Let me pull my, uh, Ikea cart over that has my wipes in it to clean off this stamp. We were playing Pokemon Go the other day, my daughter and I, and uh, I'm on level 31 right now <laughs> out of 40. I'm such a geek. Oh my god, my whole life has been spent as a geek in disguise and we were in a parking lot by our library taking down a gym and all of a sudden this guy walks up and he yeah. had his phone and he pointed to his phone and oh that buzzing is from that which I am talking and he pointed to his phone and uh, I knew he was talking about Pokemon so I rolled down my window and I'm like hey and he goes did y'all just take down the gym? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, um, we have a group down here who does Pokemon, and we have this app that we use. Uh, I got my. I'll be right back. I, w I was in a wreck, and I got a. That was that was my insurance company, State Farm, calling about my car wreck. Uh, yeah, I kind of uh, was in a little car wreck, and they're fixing my car. And that was an update. The car's gonna be fixed by the end of the week. And they did fix my air conditioner. Yay! <sighs> Breathe a heavy sigh of relief, Lee. Okay, now, I only have to pay my deductible, which is an amazing, crazy $500, but uh, worth it. Anyway. Wait, so, Pokemon Go. We're playing Pokemon Go. And he said there's this group of people who play down here. And to, you know, they use this app on the phone to talk to each other to, about mm. raids, to get together with raids. So if you hear a brrrr, like that just happened, uh, they send out little messages on this thing to everybody about when there's a raid happening for a legendary Pokemon. And I went to one and got me a Lugia. And Camille and I went to two raids yesterday with these folks, fine folks, who are very, very nice. Some of whom I know, so two of whom I graduated from high school with. <sighs> Craziness. Um, and back in the day, oh yeah, we're having our 35th high school reunion. I can't believe, I'm not that old. I'm not, I'm not that old. I don't have any gray hair. 
some of those people have grandchildren. I, I don't know how they did that. I have, a, I have a kid who's not a teenager yet. I say that because she's like only 12 until Wednesday. But some of those people have like six grandchildren, like the woman I was talking to last night who, who graduated with me. And crazily enough, oh, I got a legendary, my daughter got a legendary. The, two, the, two le the legendary thing that we killed last night, I didn't, I didn't get. I was very sad, but you know, there's always another one. Uh, and I like playing Pokemon Go, so it's, and it's at, it was at the Veterans Memorial where I like to go walk, do my 5Ks. Uh, I'm working my way up quicker, uh, higher and higher instead of working, walking just 3.1 miles. I usually walk four miles now. So I might work my way up to a 10K and then uh, walk the Crescent City Classic. That would be a good Good, which is the the 10k in New Orleans that uh, that might be a good goal for me to do yeah I think I'm gonna do that okay I got all of these done so I'm gonna put them on the side now I want to do uh, let me put this like this And put this on the light. Who knows what I'm saying right now? I might just speed over, but I might not. I might just let it go along. I am slow at stamping. Oh, and I just made a mark with my finger. Such a mess. Such a messy child, let me tell you. So did y'all have a good Easter? Hmm. I just rested and relaxed. Yesterday I got up, I went to physical therapy, then I came home. Oh, then I went to Walmart. Oh yeah, that's always tiring. Whoo, let me tell you. Went to Walmart, made my groceries, and then I Went, came back home, unloaded the groceries, sat down on the chair, and said, Camille, I'm tired. Get me a blanket. Make me cookies. <laughs> Isn't that nasty, that bruise on my hand? I don't know where I got it. Uh, and she made me some cookies, and then I uh, fell asleep. Until my dad got home at five. And then he said, you need to cut the grass. It's going to rain the next couple of days. Come see the lawnmower's full. I'm like, okay, I can do that. So I cut the grass on the riding lawnmower. Which takes a good hour and a half to two hours. Hour and a half, 45 minutes. Hour and 45 minutes. Because we've got a very vast yard. In and around the trees, and I did my bayou side, my bateur, and my front yard, my side yard, backyard's very, very big. And uh, then I came inside, and Camille's like, I gotta go to religion, Mom. I'm like, good thing you remember. And then I brought her, and there was nobody there, and I'm like, oh man, yeah, it's, it's Christmas, it, it's Easter holiday for the school. The kids are off for this week, not last week. So everybody's going on vacation, so they're not going to have religion today. I said, you want to go pokey hunting? And that's when we went 
pokey hunting last night and did the pokey stuff stuff. We went play Pokemon until like 8.30. We, this was at 6.30. We went until like 8.30. We went and played Pokemon for two hours. And I walked around in a couple of different places. It was fun. I think I can put that one there. And she met some new people. It's good to be social. I re-encountered that woman from high school, Angela, that nice lady who has six grandchildren. How could that be? I'm just, uh, I know I'm stuck on that, but y'all, I could not imagine myself as a grandmother right now. I guess, I don't know, I just consider myself like a, a six-year-old still, like, like I'm still in kindergarten. I don't, I don't get it. These people had kids so young and I was just out there living life. You know, when I was 20 years old and I was in college and I was, I was majoring in French, I, I did the study abroad for a year thing in France. And if Camille were in college right now, I could not let her do what I did. I could not let her go for a, I could not put her on a plane with good conscience to France as a 20 year old like I was, as innocent and naive as I was, particularly knowing my child, because she's not as tough as I am. I have more, I have more of my mom in me, my child has more of her daddy in her, and I'm more independent and fierce. But with the, the situation that's going on in Europe right now, with the great replacement, it's just so sad. You know, I was, I was, I saved money for my child to be able to do the, the great backpacking through Europe, staying in youth hostels, um, traveling by train, with a youth pass and uh, seeing, going to all the great museums and churches and cathedrals and just experiencing all the different cultures. And well, for me it was Western Europe because the wall was still up because that was in 86, 87. I did participate in a Lions Club Culture Exchange program for, six, for two weeks in Arcachon, France. We had two lovely ladies from Turkey, and I think of them all the time right now and what's going on in Turkey, because they were in regular civilian clothes, even though they were Islamic, and they just did whatever we did. in the day. I wonder how Elif and Idil, 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 Elif Akdal, and Idil. I wonder how they are. Hmm. Okay, now I think I'm going to do all the little cups. Okay. I'm gonna put white. I'm gonna do this 
and one. And let's see. I think the desert storm might work because it might look like there's. I don't know what I'm thinking right now. Doing multiple stamps at once. It's the way to do it. Yeah. <sighs> well, that's what the pen's for. Tighten up those lines. That's what I'm going to do with the pen. Oh, look at me multitasking. Okay. Let me see. Oh, yeah, that's stamped better. Let me put this one up here. Let me. Do this again on white. And then I'm going to use my um, fabulous Big Shot. I love my Big Shot. Oh, I got a commission to build, to paint a sign for my sister's sister-in-law. She has a, when her grandkids come over and start bickering, she, she tells them, be nice or go home. <laughs> and she wants a sign that says that on her front door for when they come in. I said, I can do that. Real easy. What colors you like? And, and I asked her what colors she liked. And very, the, the, the very non committal people, but you know, I, I, I was able to use my past interrogation skills, if you will, uh, to draw it out of her uh, that she liked. She likes bright colors. She ran a primary, a, a preschool for years and years and years. She was the preschool teacher for Matthew and Emily, my nephew and niece. Um, and uh, she's very, very sweet. I love, 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 love Rachel. And uh, she was wearing an aqua shirt, blue jeans. Her nails were painted a, a corally red, like a, a warmer red. But, you know, she kind of likes the same colors like my sister, so. I kind of know what she likes. And I was thinking it while I was laying in bed trying to go back to sleep at three something when I woke up. You know, that bewitching hour when all religious folk wake up during the three o'clock hour when religious folk do their matanas and uh, we just wake up naturally at 3 a.m. Do you know that? That's why people do religious. <laughs> <laughs> prayers at 3 a.m. You just wake up naturally. Uh, I'm going to pick this up for now. Uh, thank you, Ranger Archival Bank. You've been a great help in this one, too. I'm going to pick up. Uh, see, I didn't, it isn't the best job in the world, but you know what? I am, oh, I'm going to need my Ranger Archival Bank for the sentiments. But that'll be later. Let me pick these up where they go. 
like a good person before I start. Uh, with my die cutting. I love these little stacked cups. And all these little coffee beans that they have. Look, you see the little coffee beans? You, can, you stamp though, these are little stamps for coffee beans that you stamp in different places. Okay, so, uh, I already, oh, I didn't do the spoon. Oh darn. Oh darn. Mm. You gotta have the spoon and silver. Doing it on the wrong thing. Oh, yeah. Can you say Leah's a mess? I can. Leah's a mess. Where's my look? Uh. Okay, that's good. We'll figure it out later. Things first. No, do not make a mess. Ah. big shot where I can turn it with my right hand because I'm right handed you know don't you know okay let me take this one first and some good tape I'm going to tape it on down here before we even move up there. Let's see. <sighs> well, while I'm figuring this out, I'm going to pause, y'all, and then I'm going to come back once I have these taped on because this might take me a while because I'm kind of goofy. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I taped down these guys with... 3M like surgical tape <laughs> which you can get on Amazon or you know in other places too I'm sure but that's where I got mine anyway and even though I have a magnet thing I like to put the surgical tape because I don't want it to move and it's reusable so you can like pull it off and then use it on your next little guy See, and then it works out great. So, then you can like line it up. I know my head's in the way. Sorry. And then tape it down. Put another piece of tape on the other side. And this tape isn't expensive. And then I'll run it through again. So that's how you do it. 
and I'm going to do all of them, and then I'll be back. Because it's kind of not fun watching me do this. I know that. Okay, bye. Hi, I'm back. What I'm doing now with that, oh, my goodness gracious, uh, that I've die cut all my little things is I've got my Derwent and Ink Tints pencils out. And uh, I have the full set. And I got them off of my little cat, my little wall of pens and pencils. And uh, I am going to color these lovely little things and uh, let them dry. And then I will uh, adhere them to card, make the cards. So I'm going to go away again and listen to music because I'm really enjoying that. Anymore. I'm going to color this more uh, before I put water. <laughs> that looks like coffee. Good, rich, dark coffee. Mm, love my coffee. See, I have my coffee right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm Cajun. Cajuns love coffee. It's Francophone influence, yep. Not tea drinkers, nope. Not over much. We like our coffee. The water. Activate that ink. Get it moving around. I used for my coffee two different colors to give it some depth of color. Oh, and I just went out the lines. I never can color in the lines, people. Never, ever, ever, ever. I used uh, Bark 2000 and 1900 Willow. Those two colors. And got my little coffee made right there. So I'm going to do my others. I'll be back once everything is colored. And uh, we'll start assembling cards. Yeah. I'm listening to music and enjoying life. This is so much fun. I love making cards and being fun, playing. Oh yeah. Bye. Hi everybody. I have a helper. Camille came, woke up finally, and she's helping me. She's coloring the percolators. I did all the other stuff and right now I am doing guy cutting the trim stuff. And then we'll we'll assemble our cards. It'll be very exciting. They're we'll blue. do that in a little bit. Isn't that right, Camille? They're blue. They're blue. Blue percolators. Yay! Okay, I'm back. Uh, I fixed my ATG. It's working again. I cut foam rectangles to go underneath this size piece. So that it'll be up. Oh, Camille's coming back from checking on the chickens. Look how pretty her little percolators are. I think she did an excellent job. Oh, hi, Camille. Pull up a chair. You can help me with this. I'm going to feed the chickens this. Okay, you're going to go feed the chickens those seeds? Great. Please. Okay. The ones inside. Uh, the ones inside. Okay, great. I'm going to also tape this these to the bases. I made more bases out of the you know Desert Storm cardstock and it's it's very easy to do. You just put your tape on it like so. What you did Camille? I fed in those strawberries outside. You fed in the wild strawberries? Mm -hmm. And they love, they love the wild strawberries. Uh -huh. The little bit that the, the young chicks. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Not Gertie. Not Gertie. And I'm not the crooked side. I am so crooked. It was so funny to watch because it's like Okay. And then Fish would grab a berry and then go inside the little hut. And then one of them would follow. Mm-hmm. And then she'd pop out again. I toss another berry. And it all, and it would just go crazy. They go crazy over the berries. Uh huh. They love them. Well, they're tasty and delicious. To the chickens. 
Okay, and then I'm going to put this, I'm going to try to center it by eyeing it as best as I can. And just go. And there you go. That one's done, and then I'll do the rest. Oh, crooked. How, how did I get this on crooked? I don't know. Anyway, Camille, you gonna help me? If you come see. I'm no. Go feed those birds. I am in the middle of this, and I am on a roll. I love Sophie. I'm on a roll. I am on a roll. I'm just gonna. Do all these first. This card is extra long. I'm going to have to trim that. Pokemon Go! Something's going on. Somebody put a screenshot of something. Hmm. I don't know what interesting little Pokemon they found. I'm gonna do these and then I'll come back. Hi, I'm back with Camille. Okay, I did extra cards and foam, which of course will come in handy later. I assembled the, Camille's here with me. She's always a wonderful help. Right now, Camille is gonna take the Happy Mail with liamcalleyendeavors.com and the plastic flamingo ink. She's going to stamp the backs of each one of these. We have three of the cards with the solid green, with the, the orthogonal uh, flag print on the front. And then we have five of the plaid in the back with the solid sea foam in the front. So you're going to take these. I'll put foam, the white foam in between so there'll be some dimension and it's can you tell can you tell yeah it's just easy and it, so, put it right here at the bottom Camille like this stamp hold and count to like five or six or seven like and now lift you didn't put enough ink so the next one you gotta turn it no no turn the stamp over Turn the stamp over and you ink the stamp. You ink the stamp. And then when you stamp, where's my pink flamingos? This helps. If you open this up, since they got that thing there, if you put it and you hold it, count to like eight maybe. I don't know. My hair is in my eyes. It's driving me nuts today. Thank you, dear. Alright, can we go pokey hunting later? Okay, good. Let me see how it works better. There. So that's done. Now, do the others. The way I'm going to open them up for you. Uh, and then we're going we're gonna to put these on here and the sentiments. I'm going to just move this one here. Uh, so I'm going to open these up for her while she's doing that. And then we'll be done with these cards. I want to, I also want to stamp the envelopes. Hey, there you go. I like this one. It's pretty Very good. Keep going. Uh, I want to stamp the envelopes. Let me get... I got my Tim Holtz tonic stamper stamp thingy 
which yeah. I'm going to play with for the first time. Oh, it will it smudged a little bit now. Yeah, okay. okay, let's see. We'll do all of... That'll be a lovely little thing for our envelopes. So, hey, and I'm gonna let me get some brown ink. Hey, printers, printers came to see me. My ink, so here. Hey, thank you. I've got sepia, which will be perfect. Okay. Stamp. better. These coffee beans. What do I do with this thing? Uh, you clean it off with a, a look in the in the, the the drawer there. You move that too far, uh, or I moved it too far. Get it and find the baby wipes and clean it off with a baby wipe. This chair that's not going to move. There. You think that'll work for the back of the card envelopes? Yeah. That's cute. Okay, let me do it in real quick. I'm using archival ink, Ranger archival ink. I have live um I know, I love that plastic flamingo ink. Plastic flamingo. Did I put it back? Yeah, put it back. Put the, the yeah, because you don't have it. Okay, I want you to... Where did I look at this and pick a sentiment to put inside of the card? Okay. Grab a sentiment. Grab two sentiments. That'll fit on each one of these. I like I like decorating the backs of my envelopes. Isn't that a neat little touch, Camille? Uh -huh. Since they're handmade cards. You 
you should do something special. with your envelopes, I feel. Just my little humble opinion. Which which sentiments did you just grab? Despresso. And coffee is a hug and a mug. Okay. So why don't you take coffee as a hug and a mug uh -huh. with the black archival ink. The way it show the way I showed you how uh -huh. to um To, to, stand, to do the ink on it, do it. Do you want to do black or brown, do you think, on the inside? Sepia on the brown? Should we do brown since it's coffee Yeah, related? So we'll do sepia. So pick up the black. You can use the sepia that I'm using. Two. Okay, see... This is a very juicy ink pad because I've hardly used it. So you ink her up, ink her up really well. Okay, you got it really good. Take yep. your card and you're going to decide where you want to place it. Usually, you want to place it about here. So you can write somebody's name and something there. And then put it as evenly as possible. And you put it down and then you just hold it down. Hold it down. 30 seconds. Let the ink transfer. Don't move it. Don't move it. Let the ink transfer. I colored this. I think you did a beautiful job of coloring that. It feels like it fits somehow in the left on the Mm-hmm. I think so too. It's very Alice in Wonderlandish. Okay, you see. Um hmm. Hmm. You smudged it. Mm. You moved. But all is not lost because You can read it. Wait, get a marker. Go over there. Where's the one that's it? Finish this, and then I'll, I'll, I'll help you with that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. I need a, a baby wipe, please. Please, please, may I have a baby wipe? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Where is the thing of stamps? Okay, I'm gonna pick these up. in here. Put that back. Let me pick this up. So I'm done with that. Now, okay. Now. It's all shaded. Sorry. I'm trying to fix this. <laughs> Stamp. 
I gotta make sure it's it's like totally, totally, totally covered in ink. <sighs> That was my phone. Physical therapy calling to remind me of an appointment. It's going to barely smell. It's just an automated thing. Here we go. Now, lift. See, coffee is a hug in a mug. Yeah. Right? Okay, so. Now, since we have that, let's, what are we going to put on the cover? Dispresso? No, what are we going to put on the cover? Let's see what else, look, give, where are the other stamps? Give me the stamps, give me the stamps, give me the stamps, give me the stamps, give me the stamps. Uh, We can put this, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And what else can we put? We can put, look, how about this? Look. Yeah. And should we put two? Should we put two of them? Mm. Or one? One. One? Mm -hmm. With this? And do we need to make a table? Yeah. Yeah. A line for a table? Mm -hmm. Like they're sitting on a table? But should they be propped up? Should we put them on foam tape? tape for this one. Can you give me some more tape, please? Sure. Thank you. I'm a sleepy bunny. You're a sleepy bunny? Mm -hmm. What do you mean you're a sleepy bunny? Huh. Let's see up on the other side. Okay. So, take the backing off of that for me. Okay. Thank you. table, right? Mm -hmm. So, or just something for them to sit on. Like so. That, and then you put that one. Like okay. that? Mm -hmm. Squeak, 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 squeak. Yes, I went squeak, squeak. A little saying, go find some sentiments, a sentiment thing on there. Uh, should we put let's chat over coffee on the bottom? Or what? On here? Will it fit? Let's chat over coffee? Sentiments? Anything but words, you know, sayings. Sayings. <laughs> Things with sayings on them. 
that I have a bunch of things that says stuff. Okay, I got let's chat over coffee on here. And what else does this mean? You know, everything's better with sparklies. Can you get me you see the pretty pink posh? Bring that to me. Bring me that whole come here, no no reach in. Bring me that whole thing. Anything with words? Any stamps of words on them? No, that would fit. Because you didn't look. How about these little flowers? You think these little flowers would work on here? Sure. Or no? I don't know. What do you think? Yes or no? Yeah. They're the right colors. What do you think? Mm -hmm. A little something, something extra. Okay, so what I need to do is glue them on. So what we got to do, what, cover that, please. Clean that off, please. And this one too. See, we take a little thing and put one here. I've got to put some inside too. Okay. Hold on. Now, get another one going. Which one you want to do next? Oh. Despresso. Which one did you do? Okay, like that. I'm going to turn off, turn you off because I'm going to use the heater. Okay, so I've, I've done four cards already. Uh, 
one that says let's chat over coffee with some little flowers and it says uh, inside it says coffee is a hug in a mug with some little flowers again and my little happy mail thing on the back all the envelopes have this on it I might color in the mugs I don't know different colors I just might this has this on it and inside it says depresso feeling you get when you run out of coffee let's chat over coffee coffee and friends make the perfect blend this doesn't say anything on the front but I inside it says love you more than coffee just a little love note for somebody I have um, I remember that when you're starting with a new inks a new stamp set it's the first time you're using it if you use Versamark on it and then rub it off put Versamark on it and rub it off your hand the ink will stick to it better and you'll get a better stamp the first time and then thereafter it'll stamp really well so that's what I started doing so uh, I think I'm gonna take a break now and uh, go find some food because I'm kind of hungry I've been playing at this for a while uh, I hope you like my cards uh, I got lots of stuff to make more cards with like four more of these but I I need to take a break uh, I'm feeling brain drain right now <sighs> So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take a break. I am allowed to do that anytime I want. And uh, I'll come back and play later and make some more. And I'll show you what I make at another time. There you go. We can make, we can make more later. Seven, three more later. As a matter of fact. Is it three or four? I don't know. Can't find everything. Hmm. I think that's this that'll be done for this video um, you see every once in a while you just got to challenge yourself grab some a, a thing you haven't used before and it's amazing what you can create and now I have all of this extra stuff if I don't make these specific cards with this stuff I have some card bases ready to go I have this I can use on different things who knows what oh I gotta make my data card that's what I'm gonna do make data card see y'all later bye okay I lied before I'm really finished now here it is I did eight cards let's chat over coffee with pretty pink posh little little dew drops coffee and friends make the perfect blend see all the envelopes have this I didn't color that in yet I probably will got this <laughs> Depress depresso the feeling you get when you run out of coffee thank god I haven't I'm still in my first cup and coffee when your brain needs a hug see the little band <laughs> let's chat over coffee for my dad love you more than coffee I love my dad more than coffee I sure do get this little card with the little heart all the little hearts I put um, that uh, what is it called let me get it let me get it let me get it right here it's this it's the wink of Stella in red on the little hearts so they, they shimmery shine Love you more than coffee. Let's chat over coffee. Coffee is a hug and a mug. Coffee and friends make the perfect blend. Let's meet for co so coffee soon. And I put a little th thing in here. Let's chat over coffee. And let's meet for coffee soon. A little coffee mug in here. Oh, I, I want to put a little highlight on that coffee mug. Come on. See, just a little, a little highlight. Like that. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah. So now my things are done. So I can put them in envelopes and and well, I'm just gonna give one to my dad. There you go. So yay! I did it. I got my challenge, and 
now I can make this video and pop it on YouTube and, and, and then move on to my next project because I got lots and lots of projects in the works and you will be seeing them soon. Yay!